Fentanyl kills tens of thousands of Americans each year, and some cities around the country have seen more of it. Fox's Bowen Kadrovich is in Lafayette, Louisiana, where the city recently had its largest fentanyl bust ever. Right, Bowen? That's right, Christine. In recent weeks, the Lafayette Police Department seized nearly $1 million worth of fentanyl in one day. Now, the department says the inter inter interstate system between New Orleans and Houston makes this city a hotspot for drug smugglers. They call us the hub city for a reason. So Lafayette uh, is in the middle, obviously. So I-10 meets up with I-49. So this is a place where basically all the drugs at some point have to probably filter through, especially if you're going uh, north in the United States or if you're headed uh, east, it's coming back probably through Lafayette. Lieutenant Quibido says he's seen an increase in fentanyl seizures and arrests. For all of 2023, the department seized a total of 3.2 pounds of fentanyl. The bust on April 2nd alone surpassed last year's total by over a pound. The department knows fentanyl can easily be laced in other drugs. Unless you're buying it from a licensed pharmacy that you know is being shipped to them um, with no impurities and, and basically from the factories, uh, you are taking a chance. You're rolling the dice every time you purchase a pill or you're smoking something. Special agent in charge of the New Orleans DEA, Stephen Hoffer, says the majority of fentanyl that is killing Americans is coming across the southern border. There's two cartels that are located in Mexico that are primarily responsible. You have the Sinaloa and the Jalisco New Generation Cartel um, that are there in Mexico. The main idea is that they import the, the needed chemicals from countries like China or India. He says the cartels stamp symbols on the drug as a way to market their product. The criminals are trying to get their product recognized and identified by their consumers because like almost any other kind of product, uh, consumers have a preferable brand that they like to go to. And the DEA seized over 17 million fentanyl pills and over 1,800 pounds of fentanyl powder so far this year. Huffer says the DEA uh, works with Mexico to crack, crack down on these drug organizations. In Lafayette, Louisiana, Bowen Kudrovich, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks, Bowen.